Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to run Windows on your Mac. And I'm gonna show you the native ways to do it. So there are two different ways to run Windows on a Mac. The first one is using a software called Parallel. That basically lets you run Windows as an application while you're on your Mac. I made a different video about that already, but this is a much better way that I'm gonna cover in this video. And that's to run Windows natively on your Mac, meaning when you turn on your Mac, you could choose to go into Windows mode or to Mac mode. And you're gonna get access to everything the Mac has, all the memory of the Mac, the hard drive, if you wanna allocate a special portion of the hard drive. And it's really, really solid way to basically get two computers out of one. Now, in all my Mac videos, I always recommend people run a time machine backup on an external hard drive. So if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link to the tutorial of Time Machine in the description. All it does is it, take your, it takes your internal hard drive and duplicates everything on an external hard drive. So you just buy one of these. I'll put one of these that I like in the description as well that I've used on all my Macs. So if anything goes wrong in the process, which hopefully it should not, I've not had an issue, but just in case you have a backup right here and you could revert back to this version of it on the time machine backup, okay? So I always recommend you do that when you do anything major like installing Windows on your Mac. So let's go step by step here. The very first step is go to the microsoft.com website and you could go to the link here. I'll put some resources in the description to make this process easier. And you wanna look for Windows 10 ISO file. Now, if there is a new Windows that comes out later, this process has been the same for over a decade. So go ahead and look up the latest Windows and I'm gonna download Windows 10 ISO file here. Now Windows is not free, but you could actually go through this process for free until you get to a point where you have to activate Windows to unlock everything. We'll get to that later. Even if you have a copy of Windows, go through this process. Now this is a big, big file, about 5.8 gigabytes here. So I do have to let this download and then I'll come back. Okay, so the download's done. Let's go to the computer here, and it's sitting in the downloads folder. This is it, the ISO file of Windows. But we're gonna go to step two. We're not gonna do anything here. Step two is opening something called Boot Camp. So we're gonna open Finder. Inside of Finder, we're gonna click on Applications. We need to be in this folder. Scroll all the way down, and you wanna double click on Utilities. Open the Utilities folder. And here you should find something called Bootcamp Assistant. Double click this. This is the second step to the process. So with Bootcamp Assistant, go ahead and press continue. Now this is telling me to remove any external storage. So let me go ahead and eject these two hard drives that I have plugged in and press continue. And I physically unplugged those two drives here. I basically ejected everything and unplugged them. Now this page is actually really important because you're letting Windows have a portion of your total hard drive. So if I go to the Apple logo here and press about this Mac and go to storage, I could see that I have a one terabyte hard drive and I have about 380 gigabytes available. So I'm gonna close this. Here it's asking me how much of your internal hard drive do you wanna to dedicate to Windows? Now the Mac portion is not gonna have access to that. So this is gonna be gone for Mac, available for Windows. So depending on how much you're gonna use Windows, you're gonna decide this here. Let me use 75 here, but you could see, you could do as much as all of it that's available, 350 gigabytes in my case. I'll do 75 because I'm not gonna use Windows all that much, I'm not gonna install all that much on there. But I do want enough where I don't get into trouble with running out of space, especially because Windows itself does take a good amount of space. And I'll go ahead and press install here. And this part is also going to take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna let Windows install in this section. I'll be right back. And there's a good chance that your computer is going to restart. So it's actually restarting for me right here. And so far the process has taken half hour on this part in the installing and partitioning of Windows. So let's go through the rest of the setup process of Windows here. All these options are fine, I'm gonna press next. And here if you have an activation key of Windows, a product key, when you bought Windows you could type that out here. I haven't bought it yet so I'm gonna say I don't have it yet, I'll do this later. You do have to do this at some point though. 
Then it's gonna ask you which version of Windows you want. Now this again is different price points, but Windows Home at the time I'm recording this is $99. Windows Pro is about twice that. There's Windows Education. In my case, I just want Windows Home. That's gonna be just fine for what I'm using it for. I'm gonna press next here. And you could go through this if you like here and make sure you check this on when you do and then press next. And this is another part of the process that may take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna just fast forward through this. I'll be right back. Okay, the computer, we started a couple of different times here and it finally brought me to this page. And I'm gonna go through the setup process here. So pick your country and you could type your name here, press next. And you could set a password for your computer. Next, you need to set up a set of security questions. So go ahead and choose those here. Now this is just to personalize here and you could read all about it. I'm gonna press no in my case. And I'm gonna accept this here. And here you could turn any one of these on or off. These are just some privacy settings, location, speak recognition and so on. Find my device, everything's fine in my case. I'm gonna leave everything on and press accept. But remember any of these have this toggle to be turned on or off. Now this is another point in the process where it's gonna take a little bit of time to set up. So this whole process is not very fast, but I'm fast forwarding some of these steps for you so you don't have to watch. But in your case, you do have to pause in all these different steps for the computer to do its thing. Okay, we're almost there. So here I'm gonna press next and go through this process, accept the license agreements, just go through this here, press install, and it's installing here the last few steps that we need to go through. And finally, you should see this page where it says restart system. And if you get any error messages along the way, I know some people in previous videos I've made got error messages, but when I declined the error messages in those cases, it still brought me to this page and I could press finish. Okay, so now if I click here, I could go ahead and log into the PC. And as you could see, this is completely native now. So I'm running Windows on my Mac and it's going to look exactly the same if I was running Windows on my PC. Now, before I show you how to get back to Mac mode, let me show you one more thing. Click this Windows icon here and we wanna go right here to settings. Go ahead and click on settings. And this is where you would have to activate your window. So go ahead and click this if you did not activate your window and it will take you to a page to activate your window. If you don't do it, it's gonna be a lot of problems using Windows here just for free. So you do need to go through and set up a activation process as you could see here. And one last thing here under the same page, you could go ahead and go to update and security here and go through all the update and security processes of your Windows. You do have to take care of this Windows as it is very native and it needs to do virus protection and keep up with updates just like you would with a different PC computer here. Now, to go back to our Mac, we're going to come down here to the Windows option, press start, and we're gonna shut down here, power, and we're gonna press restart and we're gonna hold the option key. So during the restart process on your keyboard, you need to hold down option and you'll see a new option when the restarts happens. Let me show you that. I'm gonna go back to the computer here, press restart and I'm holding down option now. I'm gonna hold down option while this restarts happens so you can see what happens to the screen. So you see two different things came up now. You got your Mac and you got the boot camp, which is Windows. So if I wanna to go to Mac, I just select this right here and it restarts the computer in Mac operating system mode instead of the Windows mode. So that's really, really useful. Every time you wanna switch between Mac and PC, the easiest option is just to press restart, hold down the option key on your keyboard, and then you'll see this page right here that allows us to choose between Mac and Windows. I chose Mac in this case. So then it's gonna bring me to this page. I'll type in my password. And here we are back on our Mac. Now everything we had before is still here. All our application, all our files, nothing 
was erased in this process, we just got this new option now, Bootcamp for Windows, that shows up over here. Now, in order to go back to Windows, all I have to do is click the Apple logo, press restart, and then during the restart process, hold the option key one more time, and I'll get the same window where it gives me option between my Windows operating system and my Mac operating system. And now your computer, your Mac here, is set up to basically be a PC window machine and a Mac operating system all on the same machine. Basically, you got two computers out of one. I hope you found this useful. I post easy to follow tutorials on this channel every single day. And I hope to see you next time.